Okay, okay, day two. Uh, missed a day yesterday uh, due to being lazy. Um, uh, took in a bunch of calories I shouldn't have taken in as far as sugar is concerned. So really watch what I'm doing today, but it's hot. It's 80 degrees for Eugene, that's warm. Uh, gonna go on a quick ride. Uh, have my cycling shoes, my water bottle, my helmet, and my bike. And often people always say, you know, why ride? Why go ride a bicycle versus walking or a lot of other things? Uh, I think as far as impact on your body and overall workout you get is incredible cycling compared to walking. Um, so often now, what bothers me more than my legs being tired is my back, my arms, my neck, all those muscle groups that are not used to being in the configuration they're in. Uh, on a traditional road bike, which is a traditional road bike, versus a mountain bike, which has a straight handlebar. Um, I have a lot of people who ask me, you know, how do you ride 10 miles? How do you do that? I mean, that's just unheard of. When I was a kid, growing up, I'm talking about somebody else, well, you know, I, I couldn't even ride my bike down to the local store and back. I think, man, how are you getting around, you know, riding 10 miles or more? It's all a matter of, of taking your time and, and working up. Uh, I'll be the first one to say my butt's been killing me the last few times because it's just not acclimated to being on that saddle. That, I'm too heavy again. The, the heaviness is, throughout this whole series, is an issue. It affects everything. We'll talk about that more too. But <clears throat> back of your arms, triceps, your quads, the front of your thighs, your buttocks, your calves, all that stuff. Major muscle groups burn tons of calories. Uh, depending on how you ride, if you ride at a, a medium cadence, which is how fast you pedal, You'll burn uh, more calories, but it is harder and you'll have to ride slower. So um, today's video is going to be much shorter. I'll, uh, I'm going to go for a ride. Trying to build a curriculum. If you have any ideas, um, sign up on my, uh, subscribe to my, uh, my YouTube channel and I'll answer your questions. If you have any questions, ask them. Um, I do have a lot of knowledge and I do have a lot of access to other people who know answers to questions I might not have answers for. So. Um, Little shot of the Willamette River and one of our bike trails and there's some more of the Willamette River. I'll try to figure out a way to hook up my camera or my phone on my bike where I can video and ride at the same time but I'm working on it. One of the things I like to do is record uh, how the ride went. And there are a lot of apps out there that can be put on your phone. You don't have to buy a special computer. You can put them on your phone, turn the thing on, go work out, come back. They'll tell you where you went, how long it took you to get there. Uh, it'll tell you a lot of things. I use it for walking my dog, which some people would say is kind of goofy, but because the fact that you're walking a dog, but I use it this time for, for writing. So here's, here's, I'll show you the video or my statistics for the ride today. It's map my walk, you can map my hike, map my, map, map, map my bike ride. It's all free, um, it's really pretty cool. So let's check it out. Here's the data. Here's the data from the ride. Um, 9.39 miles, it took me 51 minutes. I averaged 10.9 miles an hour. Here's the kicker. Based on my body weight, I burned 777 calories. I wasn't going that fast. Um, if I'd be going a little bit faster, if this number had been up closer to 14 or 15, this number would have been 900 to 1,000 calories. It's just amazing how many calories I burn uh, riding, and that's one of the problems with being so big. The larger you are, the more calories you burn. And the smaller you are, the less calories you burn. It is nice, it shows a map where I went in Eugene, and then it also uh, uh, gives you splits, tells you how every, every, every mile, how fast you went. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else, oops, sorry. Um, it also has heart rate. I always had my heart rate monitor on. It was, you know, the, the different information as far as uh, speed and elevation. Not much elevation change here because Eugene, that bike trail is so flat. But there is a little bit of a heart rate increase. And that's the burgundy line there, if you can see that. Um, but uh, at yeah, 52 years old, um, the heart rate is pretty normal. So. Um, it's just a, a tool to use and it's free. There's no reason to buy a bike computer or nothing to buy 
nothing fancy. Everybody's got a smartphone nowadays. Just download Map My Walk, which is right there. You can you can set it up any way you want. 